Hey everyone, it's Victoria. So today I'd like to talk about how diversity has helped me so much and how I get so much more out of being with people that are not like-minded, that are not exactly like me. I get so much out of people, I can't tell you. Socializing is a great thing when you have diversity, when you have different colors in a crayon box and they're not all the same and you have more to bring to the table and they have more to bring to you. So when I was a meat eater I found a vegetarian very interesting and um, I like people that are runners and I like people that are not runners and there's so much more to people than what they do and what they like and what they eat. Um, we could also as plant-based uh, dieters or plant-based plant-based people, like-minded people, could also bring a lot to the table to a meat eater. And I think there's a lot to go around. Um, there's so many other traits that people have that people overlook because they're staying in one group and they're staying in a box and they're not allowing themselves to really enjoy all the other aspects of somebody else's life. And to me, that's almost a shame. You know, it's a shame to cross people off your list because they're no longer eating the same way as you are. Um, if you are transitioning to being a vegan and a plant-based dieter um, or having a plant-based lifestyle, it's understandable that you don't want to be in that uh, group, in other groups, because you basically are addicted to that meat. Just like an alcoholic, really can't stay with other alcoholics. But having said that, it's a weakness, but to overcome your weaknesses is even more of a triumph. And when you do overcome that weakness, then you could be, you can really enjoy the people that, you know, are not eating exactly the way you are. And um, it's not really like an alcoholic. I understand it's an addiction to, um, you know, go back to your old ways of eating and your old lifestyle and hanging out with people that eat out at restaurants when you don't really, but you can. You can overcome that. That's a very, very big possibility. And I wouldn't cross those people off your list. And I wouldn't cross people off the list when you first meet them and judge them and say that you're not going to be friends with them because they're not just like you. I, I find people to be so colorful and have so many things to give and to share, and I learn from them. And it doesn't have to be what they're eating or what they're doing with their lifestyle. It could be certain things that they have that you wouldn't get out of somebody that's just like you. You know, so just be open to that idea, open to the idea of having people, um, I don't like when my computer's open. It's too open. Um, I just feel like, I just like the fact that people have so many more traits than what you see on the surface and there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of hidden talents that people have. There are painters that I've met, not one of them was a runner, not one of them was a plant-based person and you know it just, you get so much joy out of so many other things in life and to weigh yourself down and put yourself in a corner with a box of people and maybe that's your thing, you want to socialize with like-minded people, but you could also get a lot out of being with people that are not like-minded and they can get a lot out of you and who knows you might even change the world even more than you thought because you're talking to people that are not just like you <sighs> I'm coming from a place where I used to be a meat eater and I understand people that are and I understand why they don't know or they can't transition I understand that fully because I was one of those people and to come from a place of understanding, you really do get another lease on life. You get another outlook, another perspective, showing you how much more you can get. There's deeper stuff out there, and to shut it out would be a shame. Now, I realize that with my controversial videos, you know, things that maybe people just get the wrong idea from, they get more hits. And I've noticed that um, since I've taken those videos down. I've gotten less and less hits. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Whoever wants to come into my circle, whoever wants to be um, sharing what their views are in a positive way, I am welcoming it. I really welcome anybody that wants to share anything that they have to say, 
So please leave your comments. I really love reading them. And I don't have a lot of people following, but you know what? They're good people and they want to share something or they want to learn something that's going to help. Going to help them in their lives. And that's what I'm trying to uh, do. Alright, so that's what I have to say. Got two videos in one day, so lucky you. <laughs> Alright, take care. Bye.